Welcome back to Trends and Friends. For the perfect Valentine's Day dessert, why not try Beef O'Brady's? I've got Cassandra Gonzalez and Zachary Johnson here, and they're gonna tell us why you should go to Beef O'Brady's for dessert. Guys, thank you so much for be being here. You've brought a ton of different things for us to look at, and we're gonna get to that. But first, I wanna, I wanna know, what are you guys known for? What, what do people usually come in, and besides the bar, okay? Besides the bar, what do you guys, what do people usually go in, in to eat? Usually we have people come in for our wings. We have a lot of food specials throughout the week. Um, obviously our drink specials too, but we also have a very fun atmosphere, great service, friendly servers. Awesome, and you guys are a server and bartender. Yes ma'am. Right? Yes, ma okay, so when someone comes up to the bar, what are they usually ordering these days? Uh, usually these days they'll get beers, but we've been able to turn everybody more onto, onto cocktails and different kinds of shots, fun shots, layered shots. So it's been really exciting experimenting with all of that. Awesome. You guys have a ton of different food for people to choose from, from wings and more, but you also have desserts, right? Yes, we do. So let's talk about these desserts. It's perfect for a Valentine's Day couple to come in and eat. But hey, if you just want to enjoy the dessert solo, you Definitely. can do that too. Let's go with this first one. What is what is this one? So this is our first one. These are our fried Oreos. Personally, it's my favorite. We hand bread them ourselves and then we fry them as well so they all come out freshly made. Okay. The molten chocolate cake is a big favorite, especially okay. among the regulars. Let me go back to this one real quick. So this is fried Oreos. So there's an Oreo in each one and then you dip it in a batter. Yes, ma'am. Deep fry it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you put, what is this, a drizzle of chocolate on top? Yes, ma'am, drizzle of chocolate. We'll add some powdered sugar, have some ice cream in the middle of it. Occasionally, we'll put whipped cream on it. Looks that amazing. That is what y'all wish to have. I think we will have some. Yes, definitely trying this one for sure. Okay, and then this one is your molten chocolate, you said? Yes, and it's, uh, that's actually a really big favorite among our regulars, probably one of our most ordered desserts, especially with the side of ice cream on it. Okay, so it's the perfect one. So you dig in, once you cut inside the, the molten the molten chocolate chocolate's gonna like come out of like the brownie layer. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, that looks amazing. All right, and this one down here kind of reminds me of the fair a little bit. Every once in a while, you've got to have a little of this. What is this one? So our funnel fries, also a very big favorite. We also we always like we always like having funnel fries, especially for the kids. Yeah, it's a lot easier to do the funnel cake, and it's fun just sharing with the family. Tastes great. We I even have a strawberry dipping sauce that we offer with it. Nice. Well, you can't go wrong with fries of any sort, but certainly you can't go wrong with funnel fries. Now, is this a chocolate drizzle that you have on top of this one as well? Yes, we did a chocolate and caramel drizzle with some powdered sugar on top of it. Okay, do you have the option of choosing if you want caramel, chocolate, or what have you? Yes, we have caramel, chocolate, and we also have strawberry. Very like a strawberry nice puree, guys. and typically we'll put it on the side uh, just in case some people don't want to have everything on top. They can dip it and choose which one they'd like. I love it. Okay, let's give those at home the details. Where can they find you? Where are you located? When should they come in? We're located just off of Fourth Street behind uh, Whataburger uh, after Frankfurt. Uh, honestly, the best time to go in would probably be around lunchtime. We got great lunch, lunch specials along with our daily food specials. But we also have our happy hour from 3 to 7. And today we're actually offering your Valentine's Day special of a 14-ounce bone-in ribeye with the side salad and a baked potato on the side along with a mug of beer or some house wine for $25. Okay, now is it, um, it's $25 per person for that meal. You do see they it. need to call in advance? Do they need to RSVP? No. They can just come in and order that? Yes, ma'am. You can come in. You can even RSVP if you would wish to. If you would wish to do so, we do take reservations. Okay. So it's either first come, first serve, or you can feel free to make a reservation. And then they can choose one of these desserts to Definitely. top it all off with. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Guys, y'all are awesome. Thank y'all so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Hope to have you guys back on. Hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. You as well. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back with more Trends and Friends right after the break.